Well, well, hold on. What, what does it tell you about Muslim politics? First of all, Keith Ellison, you spin number two in the Democrat Party. He's a well-known Jew hater and garbage, to be quite frank. But what does it tell you about Biden? You know, and, and I'm going to take offense to this, not because I don't love you, because I do love you, but a lot of people in this town are doing this and around the country, and it pisses me off. What do you mean Biden has been supportive? You just talked about it. He goes by the Hamas numbers. He has asked Israel time and time again, pause, ceasefire. In the meantime, Hamas is reloading and looking to attack again. And let's not forget, the country behind all of this is Iran, and it was Biden alone and Biden with Obama that gave this country money and loosened restrictions. His fingerprints, is they're all over this attack. He's complicit in this attack. So don't tell me that Biden has been supportive because of his rhetoric. Nobody cares about that. His actions speak a lot louder than his words, and his actions are he's not pro-Israel. He's anti-Israel. No, no, you, you, you're wrong. You're absolutely I'm wrong. wrong. Said, yes, well, tell, wrong. Me, tell me what's wrong about the four things. That, well, let's well, start with Iran. You said he's complicit in the attack. Well, hold on, hold on. Who, who was the one who loosened the restrictions on Iran? Who was the one that gave Iran $6 billion in the hostage swap? Who was the one that, dating all the way back to his days with Obama in that administration, gave Iran money? He was, and Iran funded this attack. So, yes, A plus B equals C. He's complicit. Yeah, I, I, well, He's in bed with I, I Iran. Don't, He's don't, in bed with Iran, Mike. I, I don't dispute the facts that you laid out. Well, but that's I, it. I, I, let me finish. Yeah. I do disagree with that makes him complicit. I think when you're talking about a terror attack yeah. is a really serious thing, and I don't think he's complicit in the, ser- in the terror attack. Well, here's why he's complicit. No, hold on, hold on. No, hold on. Here's why he's complicit, Mike, because if he didn't know, Let me give you an example where you may be right, but you're smarter than this. If he didn't know that Iran was the biggest terrorist fund of every country around the world, I would say he didn't know. He was trying to fix it just like Nixon did with China or like Obama tried to do with Cuba. He knew from back in the Obama administration that Iran's goal is to destroy America and Israel. Therefore, anything positive he did for that country falls under complicit. I, I, I don't agree. I don't think that's the definition of the word. I agree with you that his policy is wrong, but I don't yeah. think I don't think that makes him complicit in the attack. I mean, that's a really big leap. And I don't think A equals B in this. I, I think I think it goes so you, too you, far. You think that you think that funding a country, funding a country that was behind this attack, knowing full well how much they hated Israel. I don't know what you're talking about, Mike. That is exactly what the word means. He knew full well Iran wanted to destroy Israel for 25 years. When Reagan was president, we knew that. Before Biden was in power, he knew that. And he gave him money. And he loosened restrictions. They were were broke when Trump was president. Biden took over. They made billions in oil money because of Biden. I agree. That's a fact. (laughs) But that is not complicity in a crime or, or a terror act. Let me make another point, if I could. The, the, uh, in terms of Biden's support for Israel, I, I have written about it, and so I agree with you. He has undercut Israel at the same time. However, however, the most important thing he did was the, the use of the carrier strike groups to go to that area. There is widespread belief within Israel that that has forestalled Hezbollah, and Iran, and that that was the purpose of it. It was to, is to, to make it clear that if they got into the fight, then America would be there for them, for Israel's protection. That was a very important thing. It hasn't been, it, it hasn't been necessary yet because it worked as a deterrent. That's an important part of helping Israel. I agree that his, his continuing claims of a ceasefire, it goes back to the point I was making uh, about uh, the, the Muslim vote in America. He, he has all along, I think, been worried about the youth vote and now the Muslim vote. That, that the youth vote who have pulled away from him, who are in the streets marching against Israel and therefore for Hamas, uh, he's worried about those votes. The Democrats need the youth vote. So he has, he has sort of tempered and undercut 
his own positions in many ways. Nonetheless, that carrier strike groups, two of them, they still sit there and they are still a deterrent force against Iran and Hezbollah. Okay. Um, I couldn't disagree with you more. You're talking about two carrier boats. I've laid out five or six different things, including what you're talking about. He's more concerned about the Muslim vote than he is people dying. I mean, I don't know how you don't see that this guy, no matter what he says, again, he can say all day long, I love Israel, ceases... Uh, ceasefires, pauses, worried about the Muslim vote, funding Iran. I mean, I don't know what else you need to see to see that this guy is a major part of the problem, not the solution. And Israel will continue to say nice things about it because they need America. They need the money. They need the support. But I can tell you this, talking to Israelis who live there, Mike, and I have them on every day, anecdotal, but every day on this show, they're not buying Biden's crap. They're not buying it. Uh, They know that Trump, he really did care. They're not buying Biden's crap. There always seems to be another agenda behind what Joe Biden does above and beyond he loves Israel because you can't be close with Barack Obama, work side by side with Barack Obama and tell me you love Israel. It's almost impossible. Uh, What can I say, Sid? I don't agree with you. I mean, I I think it's more complicated than that. Uh, I've spoken to, to Israelis, too, and they are so grateful about the military aid and the carrier strike force. So you call them a few boats in the in the Mediterranean. Yeah. Come on, this is these are. I'm, I mean, look, you're you're free to demonize the guy. I I criticize him a lot, but I think you go too far. Okay, fair enough. Then uh, and of course indirectly complicit, right? Um, <laughs> Uh, but absolutely complicit, absolutely complicit, 1,000%. You're never going to change my mind.